Trees on fire, flame went high, and I don't ever want it to stay the same. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, you obviously want to see how I achieved this look. I'm not going to hold you guys too long. I'm just showing you guys basically how I achieved the eyes only. I'm going to put all the products that I use down in the description bar below. Um, yeah, I'm not showing you guys what I did as far as face makeup. This is only the eyes and I'm just going to jump right into it. If you guys haven't done so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you do like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys later all right guys so you know it's a voiceover i already have the hard candy glamouflage concealer on my eye as a primer all right all right and you know i'm going in with my color pop and shayla palette because it's lit so <laughs> I'm using thick as my first color that I'm laying down in my transition because I love it everybody loves this orange it's just lit so yeah that's what I'm using first I'm gonna be using this palette a lot in this look so you're gonna see it pop up on the screen a lot all right because it's, it's just a bomb right now I'm going in with my 35 O palette and this is a brown color it's kind of like a brownie orangey color so that's gonna be the second color that I'm putting down. I'm kind of like placing it and blending the color at the same time. Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of back and forth in this video, like bringing the color back, blending, bringing the color back, back and forth, you know, because that's how we gonna get our look. We gotta blend, get the color, blend, add more color. You know how this goes. So, like I said, I'm going back in with that thick color because I feel like I lost a lot of my orange when I added that brown. So, yeah, I'm going back in with thick. All right, so next color I'm going to be adding is from my Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. And I'm going in with that black because this is a really, really nice pigmented black. This is the color Noir from my World Traveler palette because y'all know I can't just stop using it. I have to keep using it. And if you hear my stomach, I'm sorry. I'm not hungry. This is it's just how, how we get down. I'm not adding any other color here. I'm just blending that black out because I wanted to start with a little bit, blend it, add a little bit more, blend it. So I'm adding a little bit more here. Then I'm going to go back in with that other purple brush and then just blend the color a little bit and, you know, keep on doing that jazz. Now I'm going in with that brown from the Morphe palette and I'm just blending. I'm still in the process of trying to find like the proper placement for my eye doing these like cut crease slash halo looks. It's kind of hard because I feel like my eyes are kind of deep set, like I have almond shaped eyes, and I feel like these looks look best on people with hooded eyes, and yeah, so I find that putting the concealer on my eye and then looking up kind of gets me into the right direction of where I want to have my crease cut. So when I look up and the concealer transfers high up on my crease, that's where I know, all right, this is where I'm going to cut my crease at. And then I start carving out the crease or the, I hope I'm saying this right. That's when I know where I should start cutting the area out that I want to be covered with concealer. But you guys see what I'm talking about here. This is a very tedious thing. Take your time. I do, as you guys can tell, have this video sped up. It did take me a while to kind of get the right placement and make everything neat. Just take your time. 
you got this. We gon' we we got this. <laughs> I'm going back into that Shayla palette and I'm using the color IE and I'm putting that all over where I put the concealer at. So I'm going to kind of leave the outer corner of my eye blank because I'm going to put another color there. So I don't need to drag that green all the way out as you guys can see. But I pretty much did get to the end of my eye, but not all the way. But yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I lost all that black when I put that concealer down. So I'm just adding that again and blending that out as you guys can see. Going back in with the brown and then I'm going to go back in with some more of that thick which is that orange color. And now I am going in with that white pearlescent color up there. And I'm gonna add that to my inner corners just to give it a little pop. Now I'm going in with Sassy on the center of my eyelid. I just really like this color. It's kind of like, you could do so many different looks with it. But I thought it looked cool with the green. So that's what I decided to do. I'm adding some brown here on my outer corner. And now I'm going in with that black, which is the Noir from the World Traveler palette. And I'm just making my outer corners darker. And I'm going to blend. And yes, that is my stomach, if you heard it. And yes, that's the brush that came with the uh, World Traveler palette that I am using still, because I love it. Same color that I added to my inner corner, I'm adding to my brow bone. And now I'm going to use my gold NYX glitter liner to further cut that crease and add a little shimmer, add a little glamour to this look. Now for under my eye, I'm going to use the same exact colors that I use on my eyelid. Going in with the black. Then I'm going to go in with the brown. And then I'm going to go in with the orange. Bringing that orange back, going over everything, making everything look good the way I want it to. And I'm going to finish off by adding some liquid eyeliner. And I don't want it to look too crisp. But um, yeah, I'm going in here and then I'm going to go on top of this and smoke that out with the black eyeliner, with the black noir color. And then this is the final look, honey. Yes. Now, I don't know what the hell that is on my eyelash, but let's just pretend that's not there and just enjoy this. Okay? Get into this. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I will see you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.